The word Deuteronomy comes from the Greek word meaning repetition, and this is the book where Moses is going to repeat the terms and conditions that God made with the nation of Israel. It's written as if it's a legal treaty document between a king and his people. At this point, the nation of Israel has been wandering for 40 years, Moses is about to die, and Joshua is about to take over, and the people are about to go into the promised land, and Moses wants to make sure that they keep the terms and conditions of this covenant with God. Moses addresses the people four different times, and each point builds on itself. His first point is a historical review of what happened the last 40 years in the wilderness. The next next section is 21 chapters long and it's Moses going over the terms and conditions of the agreement that God made with the nation of Israel at Sinai. The third section is Moses going over the legal implications of keeping or breaking this agreement. He's discussing what will happen if they're obedient or if they're disobedient. In his final address, Moses appoints Joshua as the next leader of Israel and then pleads with the people to keep their covenant agreement with God and to be obedient to his commandments.